I have been hooked to commanders of all sorts, file commanders, file browsers, since the very beginning, like the 90s, the Norton Explorer or whatever it was called, Norton Commander, which had the double panels and everything. And since then, migrating to Windows, you know, for a while, we just had the Power File Manager. But now, uh, when I need to be super productive, I'm actually using a... Uh, commander of sorts, but now I want to explore are there good alternatives for the commander that I'm using right now. And the tool of choice for today is double commander. So this is how the test is going to go. First of all, I did not pre-configure it. And I have several requirements for uh, the commander. First of all, how easy and how good it looks when the dark mode is on. You might notice that uh, everything that I operate is in dark mode, except for the remote RDPs that are on default. Okay, font size and style, you'll see why I talk about it a little bit later. But yeah, the closer it is to Windows, the better. Updates and compatibility, and uh, of course, navigation, that, uh, well, the, the main usage, of course. Although they uh, are so similar between all of them nowadays, that it's uh, really small details that you might see and search search is super important because well <laughs> uh, when you produce content daily and i'm not talking about my youtube i'm talking about my day-to-day -day job for which right now i'm looking for a new tool then of course it becomes something else so let's just dive right into it so i downloaded all of the portable versions of the commanders and today we're dealing with a double commander and uh, we'll start with the initial setup process. So I'm going to kick it off over here. And immediately we see that it does need a couple of changes, uh, specifically the font size and style and the dark mode. Okay, so let's begin. And this is an exploration. So as much as it takes me, it's going to take you a little bit uh, more or the same time. So this is a very clean experiment. I'm not trying to uh, to promote the product unless I'm really impressed. Okay, so here's the default font and we see that compared to file manager, uh, like the normal file manager over here, it's a little bit uh, a lot. Okay, and also it's in, uh, in bold. So we need to put it into regular. And this is how it's going to look. Let's see, apply. And now it's more or less the same size. Uh, maybe maybe we need to make it a little bit smaller. So, okay. Now, icons are also very, very large over here. Okay, so I'm going to say 16 by 16. And it immediately says, well, you need to restart it. Okay. Let's restart the double commander and do it right here. And then we will start it once more. Okay, okay, that looks more or less the same. So we don't need the internet, uh, well, the normal explorer anymore. So that's the size. Now let's see how the dark mode is working. So we'll go to options, there's the colors, file panels, are there templates that we can use? Text color black, background white, and use inverted selection. No, it doesn't mean use an active reset to default. Use gradient indicator. Okay, so it looks like we are on our own. So let's switch the text color from black to white and the background to, uh, to, to black. Okay, and there's the background number two, so every other color would have a different um, shade to it, which is completely fine. So now we have all of this. I'm not really sure what about the right panel over here, cursor text. So the selection is highlight is, uh, is white, but I don't see that we can actually modify the colors okay so let's see how it looks like and we are not inheriting anything so let's try and switch windows into dark mode 
Then we'll go to display settings and maybe graphic settings. No, that's not it. Uh, let's search for dark mode. Color settings, dark theme settings. Okay, we're going to have a recent colors, windows colors. Is that the dark theme? No, that's the dark theme. Okay, so this is the dark theme. We are switched to it officially. Let's see if it responds to the dark theme. So this is how it looks like now. Much, much cleaner and nicer. And it did not inherit anything. So one last attempt for configuring uh, the, well, anything related to how it looks like. Drives, mouse, drag and drop, plugins, toolbar, uh, file associations, nothing. Okay, so dark mode, fail. <laughs> Let's see how it operates though. So double click should open the, uh, the file, double click on folders, double click on the top directory, everything works. Right, uh, dragging and dropping the panels from side to side works as well. Resizing the panels, very, very nice. Uh, okay, let's try some search. So for search testing, I, okay, so basically uh, navigation, by the way, uh, if I click on disk C, it just goes to disk C in the right panel over here. Okay, and I guess this is very, very small on your screen. So you know what? We will we will make it just a tad bigger. Uh fonts. Yeah, let's make it 10. No, let's make it 12, just for sake of the video, but uh, yeah. Um so I hid some files here in uh, the program files directory, just just the commander files, nothing fancy. And let's press Control F, and this is our search actually. Okay, Commander. And uh, where is my search? Call. Okay, so it, uh, the the search doesn't work this way. Let's see if there is another search option. We'll not dismiss it right from the get go. Sometimes the search is a different hotkey, which is completely fine. Alt F7. This is search. Okay. And we are going to actually select a different directory. So there is a directory navigator that opens the native application, the, the native file explorer for some reason. And file mask, I guess this is the file name. And we have find text in file, which is super cool. Okay. Uh, commander, let's see um, what it does. And here are the results. It found all the commanders that I hid in three places. Now, what can I do? I can uh, go to file, and it does it right over here, and it closed my search. So that was Alt F7. Okay, does it remember? It does. Okay, also we can view. Okay, that's open. It opens the viewer for us. There is no preview, let's say, plugin. Probably we can do some plugins as well. Okay, the search is not is not really, it's not bad. It has file and text and everything. So uh, let me modify my search and I'll actually search in disk C um, all of the JPEG files. Okay, uh, start. Media players, num now, num now, up data. I was hoping to find the screenshots. Okay, first of all, it's pretty fast. Pretty fast and wallpaper. Okay, uh, open a new tab. So we have the theme. So let's just see one thing. Let's see how the zoomed in image preview looks like. I'll try to scroll, control scroll up to see if I can zoom in. And I cannot. Let's see if we can. Uh, have a bigger review or something, bigger view, search, multi rename, synchronize directions, command, mark, no. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Probably I can make it a little bit bigger. I like the that it shows the internal text of the file though. But in terms of making it a little bit bigger, we cannot do it. So this is uh, how the, uh, what is it, the multi-commander? This is how the um, 
double commander behaves, right? The double commander fails us on a dark mode. So it's, and it's actually super annoying when we consider that it has only half of the panels visible to you. Maybe there is another configuration, but it's not straightforward to hear from those settings. It's just, uh, I don't even know what I'm looking at here. It's a little bit more complicated, which should not be a problem for a tool that you use daily. It's, it should not be a big, big uh, holdback, but still. Font size and style, uh, we accomplished that pretty easily. Although the default one is really weird. Updates and compatibility, this is an, uh, an interesting one, right? So we go to updates compatibility for the double commander and we see that, uh, let's see, home, tabbed interface, it doesn't provide us too much uh, with, the, um, uh, with details over here, but here's a roadmap. And it's actually uh, pretty much up, up to date. It, it has a scheduled release and everything. Okay, we can go to change log and see when was the latest release uh, uh, released, right? So it was actually uh, this year. So not bad, it is free. And uh, it means that whatever bugs you find, uh, someone might actually report and uh, this issue would be fixed in the future. And I'm, I'm guessing that it's not going to be paywalled later on. So that's very, very important. Easy navigation. The navigation is very standard, which is super good. You don't need to relearn anything. It's native. It's not going to change your uh, behavior and habits. And the search is, is decent. It, it's a... Uh, it requires a little bit of clicking here and there, deficit per separate tabs, but uh, more or less intuitive and uh, easy. So overall, very nice tool and uh, not something that I would use. No, I would not recommend using it. That dark mode is, is definitely uh, just, it's not good enough, okay? I'm using three screens, screens that blast white color at me. It should have a good reason for that. For example, being the software that I'm trying to document being the instructional designer. So that software is allowed to be uh, set on defaults, but my productivity tools better conform to my needs. So this is not a pass from me. It just uh, creates a really weird relationship. Anyways, this is Double Commander. I hope you like this video. You know what to do. I'll see you in the next one.